We're here for the Foreign Exchange Show, uh, live band, seven, seven piece. Uh, <laughs> potentially. <laughs> um, I, Six to seven. Oh, okay. yeah. I, I'm, ex I'm excited for this, as I'm sure everybody else is. I think we sold out, and I think it'll be a packed house. So uh, looking forward to it. Um, so what I kind of do want to start out with, guys, is your roots. Let's go back to you know when you guys first dropped Connected, right? <laughs> Um, you guys kind of had, I mean, everybody knows the story, uh, the internet, the internet uh, file sharing. Um, you guys kind of had like this e-relationship for a little while, you know. Was it kind of this unique touch on the, on the progress that you guys had? Because it's, ob it's obviously not like in studio work. Was there something different um, from doing the file sharing work as opposed to doing the work in studio? Um, not a lot, really. I mean, most of the time, you know, the work that I had done with producers, it had been kind of, like there hadn't really been, you know, uh, uh, I guess your, your typical, you know, in the studio with the producer kind of thing. Like that really hadn't been going on since the listening, you know, so right. since those right. first records, you know, me pulling knife from the studio. Everything else from that point was just, you know, we get the track from nine for whoever, crisis, right. whoever, right. and we just run it, you know what I'm saying? And uh, we just do it in the studio with me and Pooh and what was engineering the session. Right. We kind of just produce ourselves. So pretty much, I mean, it was, you know, it, it, was, it wasn't really that much of a difference. And the beats connected with you that much that they just yeah. got to you right away. Nick, this was kind of like a shot in the dark for you? You just thought you'd really. it? I mean, no, nah, I mean, it was more like, at that point, I think we had gotten to know each other just just um, generally about, you know, just being interested in the same type of topics, musically. Right, right. So, I, and, and I had started to hear I think they had like the first couple of little brother tracks out. Right. That from the listening. Yeah. Well, yeah. They were gonna be on the, at that point. It was just like some MP3s right. and all of that type of shit. And um, so when when we started talking about doing work together, I knew that it wasn't gonna be just Joe Schmo like rhyming. You knew it was for real. I knew what I knew more or less what what potential was there. It just so happened that. It, it, you know, the, the final result just exceeded any of my expectations just because it, you know, just the, the, the I think the, the, the thing that makes it so special is the fact that um, I always sort of had that in mind. I just never found the right people. Yeah. It just fell into place like that. And he was the right guy for you too. Yeah, 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 definitely. I mean, it was, you know, I've always, with him, you know, it was a lot of things where, you know, I, I kind of always had envision myself doing a whole lot more music and incorporating more influences into my music, but I just didn't know who was going to pull it off. Mm -hmm. I just didn't know the producer that could have a lot of those influences, but still know how to incorporate them. Mm -hmm. It's one thing, you and me, plenty of motherfuckers are like, yo, I listen to most Def and Van Halen and then I listen to Tchaikovsky and then like, <laughs> you'll tell them, you'll hear motherfuckers that say that shit, but it's like, okay, but how are you going to channel those influences into your music? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's something totally different. It's one thing to just listen to a bunch of, you know, disparate acts, mm -hmm. but in order to be able to put into your music something so different. Nick is like really one of the few cats that has really been able to just do it all. Like, you know what I mean? In terms of go from hip hop to jazz to, you know, kind of funk to, you know, house, you know, kind of real techy stuff. Definitely spread the board and you definitely yeah. get around. I mean, it, yeah, group. I mean, I, I've all, and the, I mean, I've, I've said in the past, like, the fact that I first came out with a hip hop record was even kind of a coincidence. It could have easily been a dance project. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I've always, I've, I've always done more than just hip hop. So I'm also not, so when people very, you know, appeal to us, you know, at, with with their pleas to, you know, save hip hop. And yeah, stuff, yeah. For me, that's kind of almost a very abstract concept, you know, because I, I, I think it's an obsolete concept. Yeah, I, mean, I, I think in terms of music, you know, and, and after music comes good or bad, mm -hmm. you know, and so that I, I can, I can mess with anything that I, that that I get that feeling from. No, you guys definitely broke some barriers, and I mean, it was good to see, because the internet's such a beautiful thing, right? Every promo tool these days is pretty much through the internet. You see magazines like Double XL and the source pretty much dropping like flies, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, I mean, we were talking to the site, blogs are pretty much what's in. Um, I guess on, I, I guess... Uh, yeah, my man Anthony David, he has a quote, it's like, when he saw like the, the magazine writers writing about bloggers, <laughs> he's like, that's like, training your manager it's like it's like training 
the guy in you to take your new position. Right, right, like, right. Yeah. Well, are, you, you know, are you talking about the top 50 buyers? Yeah, top 50 buyers. What did, you, what did you think of that? I guess you're big on, I know you're big on the internet. Nick, I'm not so familiar with your internet. I mean, uh, pretty, yeah. yeah, you guys. Maybe a slightly different circle, but yeah. Yeah, we're saying, yeah. You guys both block. I mean, I didn't, I didn't, I mean, I saw, I heard of it, but like, I didn't like buy, buy, and read, I mean. Right, right, right. You, know, you just saw it and yeah, noticed. Do you guys follow in par- any any particular blogs? Do you guys like you know when you're just chilling on a tour bus? It's just something that you always have bookmarked. Oh, um, I check. Oh, yeah, I follow. This. I check. Uh, I check smoking section. All, All right. right, my man Gotti over there. I check two dope boys. I of course check Kevin out of hand. Right. <laughs> um, man, that's pretty much it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? As far as it's off the top of my head. I'm yeah. Like, you know, but uh, pretty much the same thing. You got. Yeah, I check. I would say I check blogs more than like I. You know, we have a we have an interest. Obviously, in, in also, you know, we, we have, we're invested in trying to bring, you know, trying to spread the word. So, I, you know, I check frequently just what is being said. Yeah. You know, and especially nowadays where you can do block searches and everything. You really find out, like, how fast something like that can move. Right. You know, and right. what kind of traffic you get from that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, yeah, I try to follow all that.